hey, what up? Just wanted to come by, say what's up, you know? So, with TwitchCon coming up, as you can see, I'm starting to get a little ready. But, uh, yeah, uh, little, little updates, you know? You've probably seen me doing, like, um like shorts once a day and all that stuff and recently i um i played the uh what was it the the high on life dlc high on knife i actually thought it was really good and like i just thought i'd be kind of like you know why not put on this whole suit and all that stuff i'm probably probably not gonna be like this for like halloween and all that a kid wants to be like mario luigi and peach and all that stuff though but anyways though uh I'm here to talk about the DLC. I I feel like no one knew the that High on Life got a DLC and stuff like that. And like if it, it felt very nice to play the game and all that stuff. Um, and this time I I used the mods on the guns and all that stuff, and I switched them up and all that. And I, I thought it was pretty nice. Um, I think the DLC um was well put together and stuff, programming, you know the the way they programmed it and stuff, except for that part where like. An enemy fell through the ground, though. But you know what, man? I won't dock any points for that. You know, it's like I feel like that's some that that's something that's like that's okay. You know, it's like it's it's like a minor fix or something that they'll have to do in like in an update for it and all that, though. But yeah, I thought I thought it'd be real nice to play it and all that stuff. Um, get into this like I like I I don't want to spoil anything though, but I will spoil it. You know, so sorry. But uh, yeah, the I really like that they brought back the whole um, like uh, like they did the little parody on Cheers and all that, and they're like, ah, fuck, we'll just throw Frazier in there and shit. Like we don't even name him something else. <laughs> I was like, hey, Frazier. Um, what other part of the DLC I uh, like? I I did like that they concentrated on Knifey and stuff with his story, but like they never really solved everything else before it. You know, it's like what happened in the end of high on life and stuff what happens to your little blue gun and stuff and like that like like you don't have that you have a different gun which you know which is, she's cool and everything and i was like i like the little flappy little ears on it and stuff you know what i mean um but it it just still raises the question of what happened to your gun and what happened to your sister in the game though but you get something answered about your parents and apparently your parents are alive they send you postcards and stuff like that and i did wonder where the fuck let's do it was though but i guess he's with the parents and like and it's kind of, it's kind of cool to to see the little updates the house looks a little different on the game i can see that gene kind of like fucking just fucked it up even more and stuff like uh, I'm I'm kind of wondering when they'll ever like bring the parents in the game and stuff and like I'm expecting the dad to come home to the house like holy shit it's a fucking mess <laughs> you know just like any other parent though but I actually did enjoy the High on Life DLC um I like I, I feel like I'm all, like I, I'm not gonna rate it or anything and stuff you know I'm not gonna go that far into editing though but eh you get this cosplay. But yeah, um, there's just like so many, um, just so many unanswered questions, you know, though. But to my guess is that freaking what's his face, the blue gun and all that. You probably just left him on the planet or something, you know, like maybe you just lost him. I don't, I don't know. Like I have a theory that it's all about the writers and everything. Cause like, if you know anything that the, the voice actor of Rick and Morty uh what justin roiland roland i think that's his name though um there, there was like some allegations and stuff um there's all, there's all kinds of stuff in his case and apparently he was proven innocent though but it's kind of like it kind of did leave a stain on him and stuff and i and i can kind of see why that the gun's not in there and the sister's not there and i don't know so something with squanch games is just kind of like you know, something smelly around here, though, but, like, either way, though, it's just, that's kind of what I chalk it up to, is that the gun's not there because Justin Roiland is gone, um, the voice actors are actually getting replaced, so I feel like this is just, um, a switch 
in their company and stuff like a like a new view that they that they have to take though even if he is proven innocent and stuff like that though but and i kind of think that like if you're kind of wondering what happened to the blue gun you know that voice actor then you know maybe maybe that's probably what it is and stuff though but i can i can i do wish that they kind of um went a little bit more in depth with like losing the gun like how, like how exactly did you like did you just leave like well you gene says you left the gun so i feel like maybe it was like maybe like the gun like what's his i forgot the name of the gun whatever the blue one and like and he like i don't know maybe it was just an asshole and like in the bounty hunter is like just leaves him somewhere and stuff finds a new handgun and all that stuff though but yeah you know this is, I just kind of wish that was answered and all that, though. But I think we can all just chalk it up to voice actors and all that, though. But, um, yeah, I just, I just wanted to make this little video on reviewing um, the High on Life DLC, High on Knife. And I think it was a great game. Uh, well, great DLC. And, yeah, um, you probably won't see me doing, um, like, the straight-up... Um, uh, short of the day though and i and i hope that's not gonna kill you you know it's like I'll, i'm gonna try and have some kind of video maybe like something for y'all you know what i mean stuff that's why i wanted to do this get ahead give you an extra uh treat though just like the reason why i haven't been doing like regular videos and all that stuff though because i i've really just been putting my eggs in a basket on the um on the short of day and everything it seems to get me more views that way so um, but either way, like, I'm just like, you know what, screw it, do this video, just publish it, you know. But, uh, yeah, uh, I am going to TwitchCon, and honestly, I was kind of hoping to get, um, to get this whole outfit done. I thought about cosplaying and stuff, and I was actually making, um, portal gun though, but my project, it, it broke. I was, uh, streaming, doing arts and crafts. I was gonna do it again, and then it freaking broke, and it, it just it was unsavable. So I have to make a new one, and and I like I I never I I just never got back to it. So you know, so I'm not cosplaying at TwitchCon though, but I'm just going to TwitchCon, and I'm taking my girlfriend. It's gonna be our first road trip together, so that's gonna be nice and stuff. And I I can't wait to have fun and stuff. And oh yeah, and. Thank y'all for the, thank y'all, thank you viewers, like, cause like, honestly, I like, I just thought like, you know, doing stuff on High on Life would have just like, you know, just went down the pooper and everything ever since my review though, but, you know, I have like, thanks to doing the DLC and everything, I like, I broke one of my records for, um, for one of my videos having the most views on my channel so the most views i have on one of my videos is 3500 i think that's pretty good you know it's like i'm not i'm not super popular though but it's like i'm getting up there and stuff and it's just like and i feel like no matter what content i do and everything people are gonna come and watch it and stuff and it makes me that much more appreciative of that that people watch it or Hell, if, even if it's just shock value, whatever, you know, but it's still, you know, it, it shows me that I'm doing something right and it feels good to do this little video. So, uh, I won't see you for, well, like, I, I won't be doing like the regular norm until after TwitchCon and stuff. I'm actually leaving tomorrow and then I'm coming back on the 25th. Yeah, because 20... Yeah, there's one, two, three. Am I coming back on the... Well, I'm coming back, like, on the 24th, 25th, something like that, though. But either way, um, yeah, uh, just wanted to keep you all updated, give you, you know, tell you how how I'm doing, maybe a little review on the High on Knife. So uh, thank you all for watching. Hey there, hope you liked the video. If you want to watch more content, click the boxes on the screen and come by and stop by the shop and buy some new gear. We just got new sweatpants in, so yeah, we got those now. So come on now and leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.